Hello, in this mini tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a player move and jump. So first of all, let's start off by creating a plane and then rename it to floor. Then let's create a cube, rename it to player and then change the y value of a transfer component to 0.5. Then let's add a character controller component. This component has a really useful method called move which will enable us to easily move our character. Let's go to our component again and then type in player movement, then hit new script, create an add, and then let's open it up in Visual Studio for editing. Let's create a vector free called move vector and set it to vector free dot zero. Then let's create a character controller called character controller. Finally, let's add a float called move speed. In start, let's retrieve the character controller on our game object by using the get component function, passing in character controller as the type. Then in update, let's set the x value of our move vector to input.getAxis horizontal multiplied by move speed. And let's set the z value to input.getAxis vertical multiplied by move speed again. Finally, let's use a move method of a character controller, passing in our move vector, multiplied by time dot delta time. Back in Unity, let's go to our player and add a value for move speed. I'll just add 10 for now. Then when we hit play, we should be able to move our cube in any direction we want to. Let's go back in Visual Studio for the last time and allow our player to jump. Let's add a float called jump speed and another float called gravity. Then back in update, if character controller is grounded and input.get button jump, let's set the y value of our move vector to jump speed. After move vector dot y minus equals gravity multiplied by time dot delta time. In Unity, let's give our jump speed and gravity values. I'll add six and twenty. Then when we hit play, cube should jump but a very small amount. If you want to fix this, let's just increase our jump speed. And we now have our very own player that can move and jump. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next mini tutorial.